what's up and welcome back to vibe with me we are now vibing today we're gonna get down on some snickerdoodle cookies this is my auntie lilia's recipe and she makes the best snickerdoodles so i had to cop this recipe for y'all if you want to check it out follow along All right, to start it off, we're gonna use some shortening. Um, this recipe is not healthy at all, so uh, don't come for me if you make it and you get a ton of sugar high, because it's probably what's gonna happen. We're gonna add our sugar and two eggs. First, we're gonna mix our wet ingredients and then we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. If you have a stand mixer, this would come in handy very well. Um, I don't, so I'm doing this by hand. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix our flour in. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of flour, sift it through. Cream of tartar, baking soda, and then a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna go ahead and sift all this through. So I have my wet mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and add my dry mixture in. I'm gonna add it little by little and just make sure it gets nice and blended. Here's where a stand mixer would really come in handy. You don't have to do all this labor. All right, so here we are. We are almost fully mixed. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my hands at this point. Make sure I get everything nice and mixed together. It feels so much better. Now that we have our dough ready, I'm gonna go ahead and mix some cinnamon and sugar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get about two tablespoons of dough, roll it on up, and then we're gonna go ahead and let it coat inside of the sugar mix. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven for about eight minutes. These smell delicious. So one thing you will notice is that they do plump up a little bit. You wanna let these cool and these are gonna drop just slightly. So we're gonna let these cool before we dig in. So we let these cool down a bit and they flatten down a little bit. So let's go ahead and taste these. Mm. It's nice and crisp on the outside. It's not too sweet and the inside it's super fluffy. Mmm, these are good. These are so good. The outside it's nice and crunchy but the inside it's still super soft. I love these cookies because you just mix it on up throw them in the oven and you are good to go. You don't have to wait, you don't have to let them rest, nothing. These are just cool little treats to give people for the holidays, let them know that you appreciate them. What's your favorite cookie? I'm always looking for new cookies to bake. Let me know down in the comments below. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up or subscribe to my channel because I am always posting videos. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up to date. Thanks for vibing. I'll see you soon with a new recipe. Peace. <laughs> Alexa, turn off the music. That way. Danger. The emergency destruct system is oh. now activated. The ship will detonate. Was that you? Oh.